Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Foo, and today we're gonna be talking about those little balls of happy little fur that come flying at you the moment that you step foot in the redwoods. Yeah, we were talking about those little bits of just happy little fangs that come and try to say, you know, Hello, how are you doing? Welcome to our Redwoods. <laughs> you know that's not what they're saying at all for any reason. Yeah, today we're talking about the Perlovia, about what you can do with them, what they can do, how to tame them, and just how effective they can be because there's a lot of things involving Perlovia that a lot of people just don't realize. Now, I, no, unlike most basics, I actually started off this episode by going out prior to the episode and taming a Perlovia, just so where I can kind of show you what these guys look like out in the wild, because if I were to show you, you know, out in the wild, you know, hey, look, you know, picture me pointing my finger right now, all right, if I were looking to say, hey, look, that's a Perlovia hole, chances are, as soon as I point at it, that thing's gonna jump right out at me, it's gonna have those nice little happy fangs of fun coming at my face it's gonna stun me for eight seconds lock me tight and then go hey yeah look that was a perlovia now go back and get your carbs <laughs> that's just the way it works all right so yeah um this is what perlovias look like out in the wild it's just like this little bump right here now um if they are out in the wild and untamed anybody can see this if they are tamed um, then only your tribe can see this little bump. Um, other tribes coming up, they can't see this bump. It's completely invisible to them. So uh, you can actually use these guys as a bunch of really cool things, actually. Um, but we're going to discuss that after we go tame one. So, hey, uh, now we're going to go tame one. Uh, what you're probably going to want for these guys is... You're going to want something to get them out of the ground. Now, the really only way to get them out of the ground without running up to them and uh, getting swiped off the back is, one, you can hit one of them. Uh, you can hit another Perlovia nearby, so where it'll send out the aggro ping to the one that's underneath. If you do that, then the one under the ground will jump out at you because they have a shared aggro system. It's not really all. It's not really as easy as it sounds. Um, in, in, unless if you're like in the cave of the strong. In the cave of the strong, it happens all the time. Out in the redwoods, um, you can go quite a bit of distance without seeing more than one perlovia at a time. So yeah, if but if you do see a second one and you want to get it out of there, you don't have um, you know, you see one that's out running around. You see the other one that's inside. And you want to get the one out of there without getting pounced. Uh, really, the best way to do is just aggro it and run it over the other one. Then shoot it from a distance and it'll pop out and it'll come charge at you. Or you can just hop off your dino and be like, hey, look at me. And then, of course, you know, you're going to be dead. But it's okay, all right? It's okay. At least you got the Pearl of you out of the hole. Okay, so uh, there's another way that you can do it. Any kind of explosive. Um... Yeah, any kind of explosive will get a uh, Perlovi out of the ground. Uh, C4, rocket launcher, anything of the sort. It, just anything. Anything that does AoE damage, grenades, stuff like that, they will take a Perlovia right out of the ground. Just pop it right out there. Um, yeah, it's it's really easy. And then another way, um, and my favorite way of actually getting Perlovias out of the ground is with the Uteranus. Yeah, Uteranus. Their fear roar will just grab them and just make them just take off in the other direction. You don't have to worry about them pouncing at you. You don't have to worry about them charging at you. You don't have to worry about them stunning you. You don't have to worry about the happy fangs of fun coming at you all the time because they're just going to be running away from you, <laughs> which is kind of what you want out of your Perlovia. Well, not your Perlovia, other people's Perlovia. Your Perlovia, you want their happy fangs of fun to be charging at their face. Your, the, their Perlovia, you want them running away from, yeah, okay, that's the way it works. All right, so hey, uh, let's grab our dino, and I'm probably just going to take um, my uh, Thylacolio over, because I like the Thylacolio, it's it's really good, but if we see one, if we see a Perlovia, it's gonna, um, oh, knock us off the back here. It's just the way it works, but you know what, I mean, 
if you want to uh, not get knocked off the back of a Perlovia, um, it's pretty much uh, medium-sized dinos or higher, and then the Perlovia won't aggro on you. Um, Baryonyxes, um, they're classified as medium. I think these are actually the smallest ones that a Perlovia will not aggro. I've still had um, Perlovia aggro on me when I'm riding a uh, Baryonyx, but um, they're still classified as a medium dino. So anything Baryonyx size or larger... Um, a Perlovia is not supposed to uh, aggro on you and then jump out of their hole and then have those happy fangs of fun come and charge at you and knock you off your dinosaur and then eat you for eight seconds. Yeah. All right. And if that happens, really the only thing you can hope for is uh, if you have some medical bruise on your hotbar. If you have them on your hotbar, you might live. <laughs> if not, nope. No chance. You're dead. You're toast. Just meat waffles. That's the way it works. All right, so now we're over here by the Redwoods, and since um, we're going over here with the intention of getting Perlovias, I'm just going to take and uh, we're going to throw out the Uteranus now, and then we're going to uh, put uh, our Thylacolio inside of our pocket, and hello, and your tail's in the way, man. All right, uh, yeah, we're just going to put the Thylacolio in the pocket because... Um, if we were just coming over here, you know, with the intention of, uh, farting around and, you know, getting a whole bunch of, uh, meat or XP or stuff like that, Thylacolio is great. But if we're going over here with the sole intention of picking a fight with a Parlovia, not as good. Just not as good. Alright. So, yeah, let's get this dude. Um... You know, I probably should have left the Thylacolio out. I'm going to wait for this uh, timer to go down because once the timer goes down, um, we'll see what what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to either go aggro a Perlovia and drag it into a taming pen or we're going to have to aggro a Perlovia, throw out our Thylacolio, and then chase it down with Thylacolio and shoot it, which is probably one of the easiest ways. Um, I If you have bolas, you can use those because Perlovia can be bullied. But um, matter of fact, one of the ways of getting, um, of stopping the Perlovia from stunning you is if you have the, um, like a bow or a bola ready and the Perlovia is mid-flight before it hits you and you release and it gets hit with that, it will knock it out of the air and then you won't get stunned. Chances of you doing that are like uh, 0, 0 0.1 percent, <laughs> but it, it, just know it can happen. All right, uh, it, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's not gonna happen, but <laughs> it totally can. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna wait for this timer to cool down, um, to count down. Then we're gonna go see if we can go hunt some Perlovia. Yay! All right, so now we're over here at the Redwoods, and we're looking for one of those little mounds that I showed you earlier, or we're just looking for one running around on the ground, or we're looking for... Yeah, one of those two. The hardest part is actually finding one. You know what? Suck it, Gallimimus. All right, now, if we can't find one, if there's one buried in here, the easiest way of getting it out of the ground is just run around like this. <laughs> Suck it, Gallimimus. All right. Is that a Perlovia? No, that's a moose. All right, well, I'm going to get looking here a little bit. See if we can find one of these things. And I will bring you guys back. Okay, I think I found one. Alright. So, right there on the ground. And there it goes. Alright, so now that he's popped out of the ground, we can just fear him. Take this. Let's see. running down that way. Alright, come on. Hopefully we don't run into another one. You know what? You can just follow me. Alright. Alright, where'd you go, buddy? Where did you go? 
Oh, there you are. I see you. All right, and these guys normally don't have a high amount of torpor. But, um, and I just shot my own dude. But, um, the, once you get them out of the ground, they're really not that hard to tame. The hard part is really just... Yeah, there we go. What was that? Was that, uh... Seriously? Alright. But yeah, um, once they're out of the ground, the hard part is really just um, getting them to sit still and knock them down. Like I said, if you have a, uh, if you have bullets, you can just go ahead and use those. They're really not that hard. Alright, you know, and they're not gonna need them. Alright, but, um, you'll notice that even at lower levels, these guys actually do have some pretty decent stats. Um, this one right here is a little bit low on the health factor, but, uh, yeah. I mean, the one that I was able to get earlier, I think it was 125, maybe 120, when I went out to get it, and it's got like 2,000 hit points. These guys are really good. Um, if you can go get a really good pack of them... Um, yeah, I mean, I've never been able to experiment with that. I've always wanted to take a pack of Perlovia and then just kind of like set them as minefields around the entire base or every once in a while you take them out and you, uh, get them to hunt down everything. Because these guys actually do a lot of damage. I mean, especially compared to, uh, some of the other ones that a lot of people really use as, uh, pack dinos. Yeah, these ones usually, these ones actually do substantially larger amount of damage than those. It's kind of cool. All right, so hey, we're going to get this guy tamed up, and I will see you guys in a minute. All right, now back here at base, we've got this Perlovia right here. Let's see this. Pop you out. Okay, you're 67, 187. Hey, that's not too bad. All right, so now once uh, these guys are up like this, all you have to do is go up to them, and then you can just pop them in just by clicking the use button on them. Now, how you get them back out is just do the exact same. Put them in like that, and just they'll just pop right out just like that. And I kind of like the look of you better than you. All right. So, now that we've got that going, let's see, let's get you a little bit of health, let's get you, sure, a little bit of health. Alright, and then now that we've got that, let's get you guys following me, and then we're gonna pop out here, because I can show you guys a few different things that these guys can do. Alright, first off, if you want, you can put these guys as like a minefield, around like that. Now, all you do is just go up to it, you put them on either attack my target, or aggressive, or even neutral if you want to, and you just have it just go down on the ground, just like that. And it'll be chilling out down there. Um, you and your tribe mates will be the only ones that know where it's at. Because you guys are going to be the only ones that seize the bump. And uh, yeah, if anything comes up um, in the area. If uh, it's on uh, attack my target or it's on uh, um, uh, oh, aggressive. It'll just jump right out. It'll stun it. It'll gank it. And then yeah, bad things will happen. Then we'll have you know the flying uh, things of fun. And then they're working on our side. Which is a plus. I mean, it really is. Alright, but... If uh, you are, say, like, way across or it, um, the map, or you, or if you think that death is imminent at some certain time, or you just don't want to carry all certain sets of gear, say, like, if, if you, uh, are gonna be doing cave runs in a certain, uh, cave, and then you always want to have, you know, a crossbow and grappling hooks, maybe some scuba gear, stuff like that, but you don't want to carry it around all the time, but you want to have it every time you go into the cave, you can load it up on a Perlovia outside the cave and just have it bury itself just like that, leave it on passive, and it's gonna be, I'm locked in there for pretty much forever. I mean, unless if, I mean, somebody comes by and they start randomly setting off C4 and grenades or um, Uteranus roars right in the area, which is, seems like a rather odd thing for them to do. But, yeah, I mean, you can put these guys... I mean, you can have these guys bury themselves pretty much just about anywhere. And say, um, if you wanted to go into, uh, one of the underwater caves or, um, oh, uh, one of the other caves over on, uh, let's see, the mid-south one where you need to have the crossbow and grappling hooks, where you need to have the scuba gear. And, uh, I mean, you can even put in, um, oh, a couple cryo orbs with a specific dino in there. Yeah. And they'll just stay in there forever. It's kind of cool. As long as you have some meat on the Perlovia. Don't forget to meet your Perlovias. It's a thing that you need to do. Alright? 
<laughs> All right, but also with these guys just like this I mean they are actually pretty viable tar and pretty uh, viable um, Pack beasts just like this cuz here. Let's go out like go out here and let's see just how Effective these guys are and you'll notice I have a 112 movement speed I have the movement speed that's I recommend people you have to get uh, outrun Raptors and these guys are outrunning me if I were to uh If we were running for wild ones, these guys would caught up to me easily. All right, let's see. How effective are you at ganking that? 72, 92. All right, cool. See how fast these guys mean? Yeah, these guys are... Yeah, I, I think these guys are probably one of the better pack beasts that you can get. Trudons are good because Trudons have that uh, Torpor attack, but... Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure these guys are actually wicked good. I mean, look at this. Even our lowest level one fairly took any damage. Highest level one, forget about it. All right, so hey, um, that right there pretty much covers it for the Perlovia. Um, Ark's Watchdog. I mean, these guys, you can put minefields out and about. You can have loot stashes all across the island. Uh, you can have them as pack beasts. But the only downside with these guys is you can't ride them. Which kind of sucks, because who wouldn't want to ride around on a big giant badger, right? Alright, so hey, yeah, I hope the video helped you out. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody.